Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful autumn leaves earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. I'm using this famous St. Petersburg stitch but if you're not familiar with it don't worry because I'm showing it really easy and I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it. If you don't have those bicons you could skip them and make the leaves without the bicons in the center. They also look good you will see in one stage of our work. And what else can I tell you? If you like what I'm doing here, just click the subscribe button and the bell button. And in this way, you will be inspired often, usually two times a week. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself because I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And uh, down there, you will find full list of materials link to PayPal donations to develop this channel and uh, linked for my second channel where I post fast clips of most of my successful projects and you could see them in only 2-3 minutes and decide if you feel like making them or not and just enjoy the process of creation so you could also go and check it out. So now guys I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11-0 seed beads. Here I use 8mm bicons. These are ear wires. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0.15mm. You could use fire line if you want. Here this is size 10 beading needle scissors. And you could also use pliers if you need to go through the difficult beads, but they are not obligatory. Okay, and now I'm going to take about 4 feet of thread on my needle, which is about 1.2 meters, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and first what I want to do is start with this ear wire and attaching it to my project. Okay, and how I'm doing this, I'm taking two yellow seed beads, I'm taking here this ear wire, I'm taking two more yellows like this and one red bead okay so now guys this is what I have on my needle you see and what I do is that I slide all of those beads down just like this I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by taking my tail thread and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull just like this. Then what I want to do is make one more knot just to be sure that it's all nice tight and secure. Okay now I have my ear wire attached to my work and what I want to do now guys is reinforce here my work going one more time through all of those beads here just to be sure it's all secure okay and I want to exit here through this red bead again where I'm going to start my work from and I will start it with the famous St. Petersburg stitch. Uh, if you're not familiar with it don't worry it's easy and I'm showing it slowly so it's all gonna be okay. So I'm going to start this stitch by picking up four light orange beads and two dark orange beads. Okay you see what I have here on my needle. And I'm going to slide those down. Okay, just like this. And now, guys, I will go back through these two light orange beads, just like this. So now I have this. And here I'm going to take just one yellow, slide it down. Then go back through three 
light orange beads in this direction. Okay. Pull all these beads to the center of your work, not to have any looseness. Okay. So now I'm exiting through the third light orange from here. Let me focus. Okay. And I want to take just one red bead and I'm going through these two orange beads in this direction. Okay. So now, guys, I have this. Okay, guys, and each row of my St. Petersburg stitch consists of four beads of each color, light orange and dark orange, and ending beads. And now I have two dark orange beads, which means I need to add two more to finish this row, and I will take two light orange beads to start my next row. So if this explanation is difficult for you, just follow the steps and everything will be okay. So now I have two dark orange beads, two light orange beads, and I'm going back through the last two light orange and I'm folding back these two light orange beads. Light and dark orange rows. Okay, now I have this. So this row is ready with the four beads, but I need to add ending bead to this row and I will take yellow. This will be the ending bead of this row. And I will slide it down. Then I will go, I will skip it. I'm not going through it. And I'm going through these three beads in this direction. Backwards I'm going. Because I want to add this red bead here, which is ending bead from this side of this row that I'm going to build later, okay? Now I take one red bead and I go through these two light orange beads like this. Then I take two more light orange beads, two more dark orange beads, slide those down. In this way I'm finishing this row with the four beads for light orange beads and st I'm starting the next one. Okay, and I'm going back here. Don't worry if you don't understand these explanations, just follow the steps, okay? So I have four here, one light bead, I mean yellow. Then go skip it and go back through these four here. one red, go back, okay, and I will show you again two dark orange, two light orange, slide those down, okay, backwards, go here, yellow, slide it, back, okay guys and I will continue this until I have six of those red beads in a row.
Okay guys, now I have one, two, three, four, five, six red beads here and what I want to do uh, to finish this row is take only two orange beads and one red bead, okay. I do this differently, okay. I slide those beads down, then I go back through this red one and I go in this direction, okay. So now guys, what I want to do next is go through all of those beads and exit again here at this red one. And I won't make you watch me going around. I will meet you here at this side. Okay guys, and I went through all of beads in this direction. Now I'm exiting here at this top orange bead. And what I want to do is go here through this red bead. Another way to do this is to cut your thread here, make knots and cut your thread here and add a new thread here at the top. Okay. So now guys, I'm exiting from this side and I want to repeat what I did from the other side. I will show you two steps. Okay. I'm taking four light orange beads. This is how I started and two dark orange beads. I slide all of those down. Okay. Then what I do is that I go back like this. Okay. Like this. And pull tight, make the beads go as close as possible to my work. Then then I will take one yellow bead, okay, slide it down and I'm going back through three beads in this direction, okay, three beads away like I showed you before. Then I'm going to take just one red bead and what I want to do is go through these two orange beads. I'm going first through one of them and then through the second. Okay, now this is what I have. I have absolutely the same thing like I have here. Now guys, what I need to do are two dark orange beads and two light orange beads like I showed you before, okay. Okay, now I have this. And what I need to do is go back here through these two dark orange beads. I'm sorry it went up, but I will pu push it back to my work. Okay, now this is what I have. And what I do next is take one yellow bead, slide it down, go back three, and take just one red and go through these two light orange beads. Okay. Now guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row, until I have six of those beads. If you forgot how I'm doing this stitch, just rewind this, the video to this part and repeat it from here absolutely the same way. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and as I continue this pattern, this is what I have. And now I'm here guys where in a while I will add my last red bead, okay? Pull tight and I add my last sixth red bead from the inner part of this row, okay? Now I have this and what I do is that I finish this row the same way I showed you before. So I will take two dark orange beads and one red bead. And I'm going to slide those down and I will go back in this direction 
through all of those four beads. Okay, just like this. And now, guys, what I want to do is connect these beads to these beads, okay? So as I'm exiting from these two light orange beads, I want to connect them to these two, okay? So I exit through these two as well because I want to make a loop between them, okay? Just like this. And then I go back one more time through these two and pull. Okay. Now I have this and I want to connect the bottom two. You could leave them without connecting, but now I prefer connecting them. Okay. If you like it better, do not connect them. Okay, so I'm going around like this, pulling. And now, guys, this is what I have. Now, what I want to do here is go in this direction and add yellow beads around my work okay i'm going out of a red one i'm taking one yellow and going through the following red okay this is an easy and simple row really cool row one more yellow go in the next red one one more okay i will continue this Okay, and here at the edge, I will also add only one yellow bead like this. Okay, okay, guys, and I think you got the idea. Continue this up until here, and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm back, and I'm here almost at the end of my work where i need to add my last yellow bead okay just like this i'm adding it here and what i want to do next is continue and exit here at the top Okay, go through as many beads as you can in one movement and exit here through this top yellow bead. Okay, now guys, what I need to take next is my 8 millimeter bicone, and I'm going to attach it by taking two light orange beads, then I'm going to take my bicone. And then again, two light orange beads. Okay. And as I'm exiting here after this yellow bead, you see I'm after it. I will go back here through the, the other, through the opposite yellow. Okay. And I'm going to pull. Now, guys, I have this one at the center, but I need some more reinforcing so as i'm exiting from this yellow here is where i'm exiting if you don't see my thread i'm going back through these two orange beads through the crystal and through the following two and i pull okay then what i do is that i go back through this yellow 
like this and I have my crystal attached here in the center of my work. Okay, I'll pull a little bit. Then I could go and make some reinforcement of the other side of my work. Okay, this side. Okay, and when I'm ready, guys, with the reinforcements, I will find the place to make a knot. Okay, let's make it at the other part of my work, at the back of my earring. Okay, and what I do is that I make here a loop. I go once, then I go second time through this loop I've made, I pull. Then what I do is that I go through the following seed bead here. I will cut my thread and now guys my earring is ready. Okay guys and now my beaded autumn leaf earrings with bicons are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done. And you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see your creations and uh, also PayPal link for donations and a link to my second channel where I show fast clips of most of my successful videos. In only 2-3 minutes you could see the whole project and decide if you feel like making it or not or just enjoy the process of creation and save time. So you could definitely go there and if you want subscribe. Okay, so that was all from me. Love you. Bye.